Hey there, welcome back to the final part of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. I hope you found inspiration in our guest journey this week. Today, we'll leave you with some key takeaways and actionable insights that you can lean on. Now let's wrap up with some powerful lessons that can help guide you on your own path. Don't forget to tune in for a brand new guest next week on Monday. But for now, enjoy this week's. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already as well. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. But you also appeared on TV. And I think this is where it, you, you said it, you, you, you appeared on TV. Tell us about your TV appearance. Have you done one? Have you done several? Or let's talk about the first one if you've done more. So I've done one TV apparent appearance. <laughs> it was on Good Morning Northern America. They're in Michigan. They're in Michigan. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm thinking of, um, mom showed your book. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah. Um, mom showed your book to, to them, yeah, right? Is that right? Yeah. To Good Morning America. But, um, <laughs> so Good Morning Northern Michigan, um, I was on it and I was talking about my book and how I made it and stuff like that. And I actually got really close to the host and hostess. And they were such nice people. I, Sorry, I can't remember your names currently, but if you're watching this, you made a huge mark in my life, and thank you. And you have basically created what this is happening right now. And they were so nice to me and to everyone there. And I was giving away bracelets. And it was just an amazing experience that just lifted my heart for the rest of the day. Oh, more than the rest of the day. But yeah, because that's what stemmed the podcast, wasn't it? You were intrigued because you were, you'd done the TV show. You wanted to feel this more and more, didn't you? And that's why the podcast started. You asked your mum, what can we yeah. do to achieve this? You've got a podcast. Mum's got a podcast. Yeah. Talked with Dr. Schaefer. Um, and you want to do the same. So your studio faces each other, doesn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Um, awesome. Actually, um. Can I like switch it for a second? <laughs> Not easily. Yeah. <laughs> but um, right behind us is an amazing little corner over there, um, incorporated with a whiteboard, and it is honestly it reminds me of a coffee shop, cop <laughs> coffee shop. But um, it's just an amazing little corner with a ton of plants and pictures, and um, this tie dye. Thing that has the writing talks to Dr. Schaefer on it. Schaefer. Sh Schaefer. And <laughs> sorry, I can't remember your name. <laughs> That's all right. Andy. My name's Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you just call and... me. You can call me leading our own way if you want. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, but. We'll, um... we'll, 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 for, to, for us to be friends, though, you have to remember my name going forward, okay? <laughs> I, I, I do. I do. <laughs> no, I was talking to my mom. I can. <laughs> we, we only just met Casey. today. That's okay. Yeah. Me and your mum have been friends for a while now, but we're, we'll be friends. Don't you worry. We didn't have a pre-chat and um, that's probably why. So that's absolutely fine. Don't worry. Cool. Yeah. But, um, um, but yeah, that's my mom's little circle of grace and she has a lot of lights and books and, um, microphones. The technology is everywhere. And she's <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing. Awesome. Yeah. We, we saw it last week on yeah. last week's episodes the guests would have seen the her little studio there but that's amazing so um you i think this would be coming towards the end but you've got some charities that you're involved with is is that correct talk to us about your charities so um shelter dogs a current series that were um looking at right now um just a little comment before i i get before i dig too far into this mm -hmm. um if you live um close to northern michigan the little travers bay humane society if you're looking for a best friend forever is a no-kill shelter that sells dogs and cats up for adoption and some of them are very friendly some of them are a little nervous. Most of them are nervous, but here's the crazy thing about it. The dogs there are so kind. 
You just have to bring them home because they've lived in a cage maybe even their whole life. I don't know. And bring them home. I mean, take see them and they're and they might be this like tiny little thing just like sitting there. And then you come home with them and they're crazy. They're awesome. They're nice and they'll lick you to death. That's the worst thing they can do. So yeah. Amazing. Um check out your local humane society if you're listening. And um so anyway, um my first donation ever was five dollars at the donation box at Bear Cub Outfitters. Um because I couldn't find anything I wanted, so I put it in the donation box to the Little Traverse Bay Humane Society. And ever since I've oh whoops. I've been donating to them and now I'm writing an entire series and most of the money that we make out of it will go to them and to the dogs and anything else that we make i'm hoping will go to our um nature preserve wow incredible and 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 that's the charities you've they're the charities you're you're really passionate about yeah but um i also donate 10 percent of my first book to my school saint francis xavier um it goes from elementary school to to eighth grade, and so they take preschool, DK, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, and then it's off to high school. But yeah, yeah. And what grade? Because I don't know the American um, school system. What grade are you currently in? I'm currently in fifth grade. Fifth grade, yeah. So if you came to Australia, I could potentially teach you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's amazing. If you, you you have a fox on your lap, yeah. yeah, I've been dying to know a little bit more about the fox. Yes, this is Bob. He's like my personal agent, and he's very chatty. He <laughs> He likes it when I take him to the market when we're selling books in March there. And sometimes he'll give kids hugs, make them do a little friendship circle thing. Um, Yeah, he's kind of bossy, though. How is he bossy? Kind of bossy, aren't you? But he'll be like, do this dance to the kids. Eh, I told him to settle down sometimes. But (laughs) this is my little helper, Bob. He's really nice. Um, he's actually a wormy that my aunt got me. And um, so what happens with them is they come with a little tag that's paper. So you can throw it away. You can keep it. You can do whatever you want with it. It won't hurt anything. And so um, what do you do is you take it and it's called a wormy. I'm pretty sure you can find them at warmies.com. And you put them in the microwave. You set it to one minute, and that's as high as you can set it, or 90 seconds, one minute to 90 seconds. And um, heat it up, and it comes out, and it's like a really good snuggler. Amazing. I like that. Well, Emily, what I normally do here at this point of the episode is I normally ask a couple of questions about what lies for the future. You've, you've, I think you've already answered that. And I think we can see the direction you're going in, but if there's anything missed regarding about what the future lies for you, anything that you want to share before I come to my two final questions. Yeah. Um, I want to tell people, I'm not just telling you to grow because I'm not growing. I'm growing too, and I'm going to make mistakes, and I'm going to give bad advice now and then. And I might not know it, and you may notice it, and you can point it out to me, and I'd be fine with it. But the point of this whole shebang (laughs) is growth and how I can help you, me, people on my podcast, people that I meet every day like let's say you go to the beach you meet someone and you notice they're not really happy you can help them you can talk to them 
if they don't want help, then it's honestly not your job to help them. It's never your job to help somebody. But if they truly need help and you know that you can talk to them and give them a safe conversation to make them feel better, then that's what can help them in that point. And sometimes talking is all someone needs. And then again, I'm growing too. And there are things that I don't understand yet and that I will never understand. But there are things that I do understand and I can help with. Hmm. Well, what you just said there was called holding space for somebody, you know, being that ear for them while they want to talk. That's, that's, that's deep holding space, isn't it? And you clearly know how to do that. And um, you're very, very wise. I, and a lot of people can take a lot from you today, Emily, and I certainly have. And I'm, I'm running out of, I'm not running out, but I've got too many guest gems that I can create from your words, your amazing advice. And my next question, usually, I'm probably going to have to retract it, but I normally at this point would say, if somebody is in, this, in a similar journey to you or is somebody uh, is aspiring to do something similar to you, um, what piece of advice could you give them? Well, actually, no, I will stick to the question because I don't want you to give them advice regarding life now because you've just done that. But if somebody's on a similar journey to you, but they, they're in that messy middle and they don't know how to go about it, what piece of advice could you give that person? So what you just described is somebody who is having a hard time getting to the end. They're having, like in their story, They've made it to the first five out of ten chapters, but they're stuck in the middle. So, if you're on your way to me, know this. There is no pressure in this. It is absolutely not your job to be an adult. Because you're still a kid, or you might be an adult, I don't know that. But, if you're stuck in the middle, it's your job not to be somebody else. It's your job to be you. So if you're not enjoying it and you just feel like it's not for you, then you have to listen to yourself. Because I know that I know plenty of people who have started something that they absolutely don't like, but they feel like now that they've started it, they have to finish it. Mm -hmm. And they don't. But here's the thing. Sometimes when you've started something, you feel like you're not good with it. You're not good enough. But you are. Mm -hmm. And you can't just tell yourself, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Because if you tell yourself that, then you'll start to believe it. But really, the thing you should be telling yourself is, I am me. Some things I'm not good at. Some things I am good at. And the things that I am good at, I'm going to get even better at. And the things I'm not so good at, I can improve and I can make them better. And we all, what you just mentioned there is pretty much, well, I always say we all deserve to stand on this planet Earth, don't we? We all deserve to stand on this Earth. And you also just mentioned about the brain being, it's neuroplasticity. It can work against us or it can work for us. If we think negatively, we're only going to attract negativity. But if we think with an open mind and positive about ourselves, we tend to lighten up our world a little bit better, don't we, each little bit at a time. So that's an amazing piece of advice. Wow. So, okay, let's come to the end then. If if you could put it into one simple line, what would, what is your purpose? What is your why? Why do, why do you belong here? What can you, what do you want to give to the world? This is kind of like two sentences, but okay. I'm not here to force. I'm here to help. Beautiful. I like it. I think that's the perfect Thanks. way to end the episode. Is there anything, before I do though, I always do this. Um, is there anything that you, is there anything that we've missed? You know your life better than anybody else. Is there anything that there's anything we've missed that you want to share? Or do you think we've got? everything across 
Well, I kind of do this a lot <laughs> now, but um, um, would you mind if somebody really special to me made an appearance in the end uh, of our chat? Yeah, go for it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm 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 on the edge of my chair now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Emily? What are you doing? You scaring I'll be me. Back. Don't worry. <laughs> You're in the computer. You can't. You can't be hurt. I promise. <laughs> I'm just gonna put Bob down for a second because I don't want him to be eaten okay. by a very special guest. That's hilarious. Yeah, this very special guest is still teething. So. Oh. Still teething. Have you got a puppy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cute. He's adorable. I, I have a little doggy too. Yeah, he's a mix. <laughs> oh, what is he? Hi. Oh, I my ear. France, did you say? What? What? What's it called? France. Prince. Oh, Prince. Sorry, it sounded like France. Prince, beautiful. Prince. Oh, how old's Prince? Oh, come here, Bobby. I've got him, I've got him. <laughs> Thanks for making an appearance, Prince. Yeah, this is Prince. He's a, he's very hyper. How old is he? <laughs> he's it? a mix between a Bernese and a pug. Oh, come here, yeah, I can see this that, like actually. like the blooper. <sighs> the blooper, I love it. No, we'll keep it in. It's real. It's you. Yeah. You wanted to do it, so let's keep it in. Well, um, yeah. How old is he, Emily? Oh, he's about 14 weeks old. Oh, wow. He's going to be huge. Yeah. He's a pug. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. He was supposed to be a pug, at least. Mm, oh, yeah, no, great. it's quite the opposite he's... of a pug, that, mate. <laughs> he brought a stick in the house. <laughs> Now it's in my hair. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. No, Emily, I want to say thank you. And thank you to your mum as well for um, <laughs> wanting you to appear. Well, I wanted you to appear. I thought it was such a good idea. And I, and I can't believe it's happened. And I'm so glad it's happened. And thank you. You've going to spend, send so much inspiration into the world. Uh, you've got a huge purpose. Don't let anyone ever pull you off or derail you. I know you won't. But keep going the way you're going and keep growing. Because that is the word, isn't it? We're all growing. As adults, I'm still learning how to be a dad. I'm still learning how to be a, a, a guy and a good guy and all of that. And then same with you. That word grow is important. We, we, we never end growing. Even even when we're old, we'll, never, we'll, we'll keep growing, right? So thank you so much to both of you uh, for uh, leading your own way in the way you both are, and you in particular, Emily. And thank you for joining me on my journey. I really appreciate you. Can thank you give us all a big wave and say a big bye? Bye. Join us on next week's guest with next week's guest on Leading Our Own Way from Amelie. Sorry, from Amelie and I. Have a great week. Thanks for listening and watching Leading Our Own Way. So we can stay together forever and share more incredible journeys. Please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss next week's episode and what that amazing guest has to offer to the world. Please support Leading Our Own Way and we'll get you on next week's episode.